Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing a quarantine clean with me. Not only will this hopefully be motivating, but if you're at home with your family 24 seven, doing the whole work from home, homeschool, mom every hour of the day thing, then this will be super relatable too. So grab a snack and a drink and let's get going because I've got a lot of cleaning to do today. Not that that is different from any other day because my house is basically always messy these days. Do y'all feel me? Because I can't be the only one. So I'm going to just jump right in in the master bedroom. I've been trying to make my bed in the mornings because it truly does make me feel like I have my ish together. Someone super smart once told me that if you make your bed in the morning, you'll at least have accomplished one thing that day, even if you fail at everything else. So that's my new motivation. So if you're new here, let me introduce myself. My name is Keely, I'm a mom, a YouTuber, and I also work full time as a restaurant manager. I love to make realistic and relatable videos for other moms about everything from groceries, to cleaning, to decorating, to being a working mom. I try to be transparent, realistic, and I like to make people laugh, so I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and introduce yourself down below if you're new. I do my best to comment back to every comment I get because I truly love talking to you guys. So as you can see, my kids are going to pop up occasionally in this video. Though you can't hear them, they're more than likely asking me for snacks because that's basically all they want these days. Are your kids eating snacks 24 seven? I've gotten to the point in quarantine where I basically just tell them that they can have whatever snack they want. We're definitely in survival mode in that department. Today, I'm gonna try to get as much done as possible so I can relax on my other days off this week. Usually at least one of my days off is devoted to laundry and cleaning. I'm also going to be sharing a fun new adult beverage with you, so stay tuned for that. I'm also multitasking and homeschooling at the same time. As you can see, my eight year old is laying on my bed doing homework on her iPad. Multitasking might have to go on my resume after this, y'all. My bathroom is always the messiest out of any room in my house. I don't know why. Maybe because people can't see it, so I really don't try as much, or possibly because the floors are white, so I can see every little speck of dust on them. I'm never happy with the floors, so I usually end up down on my knees, cleaning them by hand. I can't wait to redo them someday. Speaking of redoing things, we've taken on a lot of projects during this quarantine to keep ourselves busy. I refreshed our front porch and our back porch. And if you haven't seen those videos, go check them out. I am really happy with how they turned out. Next up is our guest bathroom and laundry room and I cannot wait to get started. Just to give me something to do, honestly. <laughs> Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. All our projects are DIY and definitely on a budget. So hopefully they can give everyone some inspiration.
So how are you handling this quarantine? I know it's totally different for everyone. For me, I haven't been affected too much because I'm still working five days a week. However, my husband was recently laid off, so it's definitely been different. Not to mention homeschool and not being able to go anywhere. Some days are good, and some days I just wanna plan a vacation or leave the house and go to TJ Maxx, y'all. First world problems, I know. But if you're feeling down or this is really hard for you, please know you're not alone. Let me know down below how it's going for you. Is your state beginning to open back up? Here in North Carolina, we are in phase one of reopening, which means that some retail stores are beginning to open again, but things are still so different. This whole thing is crazy, and honestly, I just wanted things to go back to normal, but I feel like that's a long time away. So this little basket is for all our homeschool stuff. If I don't keep it all together, it's bound to get lost. Let's be real. In here we have the packets from Cadence's school for her homework, as well as all of our Osmo items. If you haven't heard of Osmo, it's a play and learning system for iPad and Fire tablets. It's been super great for keeping Callie entertained while Cadence does schoolwork, or for Cadence to learn as well. There's different games for different ages and they're all interactive, hands-on, and super fun. We love them. Honestly, one of the best things we've gotten in quarantine. For full transparency, Osmo did send this one over for me to share with you guys and try out, but I would absolutely spend my own money on it. Such a good investment that grows with your kids and helps them learn while they're playing games. I linked the kits we have as well as the starter set down below, so make sure you go and check them out. know this hack but I love to clean the top of my glass stove with easy off it's meant for the inside of the oven but it works so well for getting off anything that might have boiled over or is stuck on the top I've been doing it for a while but it just occurred to me that people might not know about it so you're welcome for this golden nugget of housewife cleaning knowledge I am ready for that heartbreak that's usually how it goes I have done a billion mistakes before Seven. Eight. 
So here's me showing the reality of quarantine. Are y'all ready? I know I just cleaned the table, but my kids had to eat lunch. They always wanna eat, like I said. And so here I am cleaning it for the second time today. Does anyone else feel like they clean the same things over and over and over? I mean, it makes sense, but it's killing me if I'm being honest. I sweep and clean the table at least three times every single day, I swear. Where you go? I follow Let's go out and dance the night away I am ready for that heartbreak That's usually how it goes I have done a billion mistakes before Maybe I am going crazy Say you feel the same How that we dancing I'm taking my chances I'm going like one what are some things that are helping you survive quarantine? Usually, if I'm honest, I, my answer would be wine. But due to some unforeseen circumstances, I am now allergic to wine and I get a migraine every single time I drink one glass. So that sucks. Today I'm going to get back to my bartender roots and share my new go-to drink with you guys. It's not very strong, which is good for me because I'm kind of a lightweight. It's called an Aperol Spritz. The first time I had it was in Germany and I love it. Aperol is an Italian liqueur that has a little bit of an orange taste. The drink is very easy. Let me tell you guys, it's just equal parts Aperol and champagne and then you top it with soda. You can garnish it with an orange and you've got yourself a fun and easy warm weather drink. So good. If you try it, post it to social media and tag me because I would love to see what you think. Take this as your reminder to go water your plants because I know if you're anything like me, you forget. That's why this is part of my routine when I clean because otherwise I'll forget and I already have very bad luck with plants. So the last thing I'm doing is, of course, cleaning the table one more time. I always try to tidy up before I go to bed because I really don't love waking up to a messy house. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I haven't done a cleaning video in a long time, so let me know if you would like to see more. Please don't forget to subscribe for more fun new content. I hope you guys have a great day and stay well.